by the channel or by I hope that you can see the series back with another video. So today it's gonna be the review of the Arrows based on Android 11 official for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So without any further ado, let's now get started. If you liked watching this video then subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you receive all the latest updates from my channel. Also like this video and motivate me to make more videos. So here is my Redmi Note 5 Pro running the Arrow OS. Let me first show the about device section before talking about anything else. So going into the about phone and the Android version. As you can see this is the official build guys Arrow OS version 11.0 and tapping on this thing shows you the Android version. Here it is. Android 11, the latest and the greatest, working absolutely well. The kernel here is the Storm Breaker version is 4.4.238 and talking about the build date, it's of October 9, 2020 but this was just released today, I mean I just saw this build today up on the site. So I grabbed this and started using it as my daily. So talking about other stuff, this ROM is also pretty much similar to other Android 11 ROMs like other ROMs which I reviewed on this channel previously like Lineage OS etc. There are a few differences here and there. So talking about the system panel, as you can see going into advanced, there are only few advanced settings available here. So tapping on the gestures, you get the navigation gestures too. Here it is system navigation. It comes on three button. You can put it to gesture control like this one. So talking about other stuff, digital well-being is here and it's working well. As you can see, it's showing my today's usage properly. And talking about the screen lock type, fingerprint scanner is working absolutely well. Let me show you that really quick. As you can see, fast enough. And that blur effect is over here. I mean, it's available. So once you have unlocked the device, there is slight blur effect for like one or two seconds. I hope it is visible in camera, but in person it's visible properly. So talking about smart lock, need to check this because I don't think there is face ID here. As you can see, nope, there isn't face ID. So this ROM comes in two packages, either with G apps or without G apps. I have flashed the ROM with G apps. So I would suggest you guys to flash it with G apps because there are no any proper Android 11 G apps available yet. But there are like bits G apps available, which I use all the time. I will have that link in the description. So I suggest you guys to go with the stock G apps build. It's somewhere around 800 MB, somewhere 800 or 835 MB. That's it. So talking about display option, here are all the standard stuff present and talking about double tap to wake. It's available and it's working, but there is no any haptic feedback. Talking about dark theme, as you can see, dark theme is also working fine. No issues with that too. So light theme looks a little bit better. Talking about Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Everything is working absolutely well. I didn't have any issues with those two. So talking about the battery life in this room. And again, that screenshot toggle here. As you can see, accidentally if you press that, there is a screenshot taken. So clear all button is there. I don't know what's the purpose of placing that screenshot button there. It's really annoying for me. Like it was present in other Android 11 rooms too. It's same with this one too. So talking about the Geekbench results. So let me show you the history really quick. It's a little bit weird, like talking about scores. So this was when I first installed the ROM. I mean, as soon as I as soon as I installed the ROM, I ran Geekbench and I got a score of 1188 on multi-core and 272 on a single core. So after that, whenever I ran Geekbench, the scores went on decreasing. As you can see, this was when the device was cool enough. And as you can see, major decrease here, 916 on multi-core, 258 on single. And this was when the device was extremely cool. Like I didn't use it for three hours or something. And again, the scores are less. And I think it's because of the kernel because gaming is also not that great in this room. Yep. Even games like Call of Duty lag in this room. Yes, Call of Duty also showed minor lags. That's really surprising because Call of Duty is one of the most optimized game out there. And it works really well on my Redmi Note 3 Pro on Corvus OS, but it's lagging on this room. And that might be because of the initial build. Maybe it would be fixed in the upcoming build, but at present, gaming is just out of option in this room, guys. It's not at all good. Yes, it's not like unplayable or anything like that, but the experience is not at all good in this one. So talking about the camera application, here is the stock camera that comes with this room. Again, that Google camera type. So talking about the video recording. 4K video recording doesn't work. Let me show you that really quick. Here it is. So that was an error there. So I installed Google camera app here and as you can see it's working absolutely well. Night side is also working fine. The only thing is that 4K video recording is not working in this camera app too. So let me switch to 4K and the camera app gets stuck. 
so now you need to clear the data in order to use your camera I mean video recording so you cannot switch to 1080p back until you clear your data so that's what it is so be aware of that 4k video recording is broken on this ROM and not only on this ROM but all other Android 11 ROMs which I have tested 4k video recording is broken let me show you my battery state still now so going into the battery and the battery states as you can see here is my usage when I first booted a room, the device was somewhere around 93% of charge. Mixed usage here, couple of small games, Instagram, YouTube, etc. And as you can see, now it's down to 61%. So in my opinion, the battery life is good in this room. Like it's not the best or not the worst. When compared to Lineage OS 18, battery life is pretty similar to Lineage OS 18, I should say. There are no any major differences. At least there is no any visible changes here. But only thing is the performance. I mean the gaming performance to be specific. It's not that great here. So I need to wait and check for the upcoming builds whether the performance is improved or what but with this build gaming is not that great that's what it is but the battery life is pretty good like average not the best or not the worst so talking about the application that comes with this rom as i told you earlier this is the g apps build what i installed and with that build you get only basic g apps like play store and other core g apps also chrome browser came pre-installed with this one i didn't install that and apart from that, I installed Google Camera, Call of Duty, Instagram, YouTube, and this hill climb racing game, and Geekbench, obviously. So this was a quick little review of the ROS official Android 11 running on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram, link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere on the display. This is all about Technology 24 into 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.